thousand dollars. What's good, guys? I was just watching a news video. I was curious about uh, Nikki Haley losing in Nevada, which is uh, pretty spicy. Let's see if I can get this live from working. Is this working? No, I can never get the... Uh, I'm going to change this setting. Let's, let's see. Window capture. Here it is. Okay. Yeah. That's the result saying, quote, we didn't bother to play a game rigged for Trump. We're full steam ahead in South Carolina and beyond. The state's Republican primary does not count for the party. Dude, it's so funny. Nikki Haley isn't even her name. So crazy, bro. News is wild. Well, anyway, everyone, <laughs> welcome back to a new video, another live stream. And I'm glad to have each and every one of you here. I am JB. I go by JB, uh, J Blader. And this is my Hardcore Minecraft World, episode 27. Let's see how many days we've played on here. Minecraft days. On Minecraft days, we are on day 359. Local difficulties is like as high as it basically can go. And last time... Yesterday, we were building a dump truck that was just way too big, so I scaled it down, and now we've got an appropriate size kind of dump truck here. Built this one off camera. Great little tutorial I found online. And now we got a dump truck there with all of our stuff. I worked on cleaning this stuff up a little bit. We still got a ton of shulker boxes here because we're not done in this area quite yet. Of course, this area houses the slime farm. Which is pretty cool, right? Right. Um, but we are going to be try to find some inspiration today. We are going to hop on the World of Corrales server at some point in today's episode. Now, Corrales was one of the first YouTubers to really showcase and, and uh, you know enable people to get really serious about building in creative Minecraft. He was like one of the first YouTubers that took building in Minecraft kind of pragmatically and seriously. And he cultivated a group of people that watched him a lot, that built a lot, and they were very talented at it. And a result of that is he created his own server. It's a huge server with thousands and thousands of plots of buildings. Um, most of them are just flat out astounding, if you ask me. And we are going to hop on there and take some looks at uh, some of the builds that people have built on there. So stick around. That's what we're going to do here in a little bit. Before we do that, I'm going to put on a little bit of music. And we're going to work on this path over here a little bit. I do like creative building. Hello and welcome to Hermitcraft uh, Season 10, uh, Episode 2. Uh, my starter base that I... Okay, sorry. Did not mean to click on Mumbo's video. We're watch well, I'm going to watch that later, though. Got some Hermitcraft stuff kind of happening. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Let's listen to some Pokemon Ruby... Alpha Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Mix. This was a game that came out when I was in 12th grade. I remember playing this I one fished in, in 12th grade. And what a game it is. Very fun. All right. Let's get to doing some building today. I like adding the coal because it looks like uh, oil stains or something. So I think it's a nice, nice add.
Yeah, back when I first started playing Minecraft, when I was in just starting high school, I did a lot of creative building. That's how I met a lot of my friends that I play video games with now, was I would hop on creative servers and build. I was never... I am definitely have improved a lot, as you can probably imagine, but... Um, I kind of had a knack for it pretty early, I think. I, I was good at seeing what other people were doing and then kind of borrowing their, you know, techniques or whatever you want to call it. Because I feel like that's a lot of what Minecraft is, is like seeing kind of how people are, you know, shaping structures and then borrowing and saying, okay, they're doing, they're doing, the, they're doing this with roofing, they're doing this with this, they're doing this with this. And then just kind of borrowing from it and making it your own. So let's go ahead and let's see here. I've been playing the new Star Rail update too. I don't know if anyone here plays Honkai Star Rail. Uh, I like Star Rail. But they almost released too much content for me. Which is like not something many people would say about a video game. Like they want less of the video game. <clears throat> but like I can never keep up with everything that's going on in that game. It feels like it feels like every time I log on I'm like behind on content that they're going to take away. So I just it forces you to the game is meant to be played like for like. 40 minutes every day. If you play for like 30 or 40 minutes every day, you can do like everything in the game. The problem is I don't want to play for 30 minutes every day. So I don't, but that means I miss content in the game. Which is like, wow, first world problems, right? But anyway. And I started reading The Sun Always Rises by Ernest Hemingway been good so far. So I'll keep you guys up to date with that one. It takes place in Paris in the 1920s. And it's an interesting read. Life was very, very different 100 years ago. So there's a little bit of like getting used to it takes for me to kind of understand what's even happening in the book because the character stuff is so different. Okay, what I gotta figure out is how I want the, the pathways to kind of, and, and like the, the stone to end. I probably should just do like gravel to, no, let's just do coarse dirt. Do I have coarse dirt? Mm. Not a lot. Alright, let's go get some coarse dirt. I need to grab gravel from my storage area up here. I've also been waiting back to hear back from jobs because I've been applying places. And it was really nice. My, my parents checked on me today and were like, are you okay? Like, are you upset or depressed and stuff? And it's like, I think it's easy to get down about the job stuff. And, I'm, and if I said I wasn't, you know, frustrated with not having a job yet or just stuff like that I'd be lying I'm definitely frustrated but it's also nice to just be able to take a breath and you know something will come along and when it comes along um, I've definitely let myself get in a tizzy before and I don't know I just I don't know it just doesn't help any to, to get in a tizzy so I'm trying to just take each one day at a time and do things that I enjoy, like streaming, or playing a game, or working on music, so... I found for me that that is more beneficial than worrying about something. Even though I may really want to worry about it. Okay. We'll work some of this coarse dirt this way. Coarse dirt's really nice, because you don't have to worry about the grass spreading on it. Cool. Let's turn up the music just a little bit for you guys. Alright, let me know if that's too loud. We'll turn that down, but it should be good. Oh, 
driveway is going to be like right Lighting blocks. Might have to go get some more glowstone. Uh, or I, can, I mean, I can harvest. I can do jack o' lanterns. It's obviously a cheaper alternative. Okay, this is the part that I need to figure out because this next little curvy part here is going to be the bizarre parts. So, like, I think I'm just going to start. problems here, but we can clean that up later. As long as creepers don't spawn, I should be fine. They just make a mess of everything. These are not all ruby and sapphire songs. I make ruby out the sapphire songs. That's it. A little bit more of a mix. It's a good mix though, I'm not gonna complain. that much. We're not going to be over here a lot. So I just need to make it kind of look right. As if we're flying over. Okay, my mouse is still double right clicking. Started a cool journey today. Nice. So this journey of self awareness. Need to wipe my mouse off. Turn it off. Plug it off. Eh, unplug it. Turn it back in again. Classic, right? I don't know where I'm gonna put in this area yet, but we'll terraform it as if something can go here. We'll work. We'll add something there later. Okay, let's go around the outside of this.
That's interesting. It's an interesting way to play Minecraft, especially considering that like most people don't even play on the same world for a year. Yeah, he doesn't have anything to want. Okay, this goes this way. I kind of want to build another small truck here at some point. How am I going to get this road into this road is the question. It's like very different. I think what I might need to do is have, have like a... I guess I could just have a transition. definitely hit a point where, I, where I'm ready to like expand into a different area. We'll start transitioning that this way. Yeah, I haven't room to do it like a ex excavator and a little truck here or something might look kind of cool. So maybe we'll do that here. But I am running out of blocks very quickly, aren't I? Yep. Okay. Let's see. Okay, what blocks do I need for the next path? I'll need... We might have to go collect some stuff for this path. I'm doing terraforming here. Uh, let's see. Okay, I want this road to meet that. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do that. That'll give me a room for a building here and here. At some point. I really like the uh, my buildings around here are looking really cool. I have like no mud blocks. Granites. I'm gonna go 
go check my path block box. I have one of those somewhere around here. Fine, as far as that goes. Let's go check my uh, craft box. Oh, we got some blocks in here. Yeah, dripstone, I'm almost out of. Ew, I'm almost out of dripstone. Oh, I don't want to go collect it. Okay, well, let's just let's go collect it. We're gonna have to at some point, because I'm using it. It's just not this stuff. I'm gonna finish this road and then we're gonna hop on Kralis' server and, and look for some build inspiration for uh, the next two or three farms we're gonna be building. I'm gonna look for something to put over them. And I think there's a dripstone cave over this way, so that's why I'm flying this way. Yes, there's a cave. And it is a dripstone cave. Stacks goes pretty far, so let's just get a few stacks. Oh, hello. While it's safe to collect this, I'm just going to keep going for a minute. I do hear the zombie there. to the outside. 
outside. Coarse dirt, where's my coarse dirt? Let's go get mud and uh, more coarse dirt.
get some mud blocks to help fill in these gaps. And I think we're cooking here. That's my, my mud blocks. Dripstone blocks. Okay, that's good to know. From point of dripstone. I didn't even realize that. It's useful. Okay, this road looks nice. Okay, fill in the gaps here. Sales a road. Too many together. Let's mix it up. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's pretty good. Let's see. Make slabs and these now. Only the bricks. Let's see. I think I have granite slabs here somewhere. had trucks running over it, cranes, excavators, and it's seen better days. Here we go. blocks you can add in there. Okay. Let's load up our box here. Put this stuff away. Look at that. Perfect. Just the amount of spaces we needed. Okay. I am inclined to hop on the World of Corrales server and look up some inspiration. So while I'm grabbing the IP, take a quick stretch, get some water, I'll be back in one minute. Server IPLC. We're on the right version. 
No, we gotta, we're gonna have to downgrade our version, I think. Yeah. Let's downgrade our version real quick. We'll just downgrade to an older, I should have like an older Optifine version or something. Downgrade to. Alright, Minecraft, come on. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I have 1.19.3. We'll try that. on the server, but man, it's been a minute. That looks cool. Do you want to go to creative? Oh. oh, okay, okay. We got warps. Okay, Oregon-inspired coastal landscape. Victorian Tudor Revival. Fluent American suburban area. French city based on Paris that contains lots of beautiful... American town containing a small urban strip of houses. Summer holiday resorts. Oh my gosh! Extensive Victorian city set in 1902. Suburban semi rural town on the Norwegian coast. Um, coastal Floridian gated community. Traditional Japanese. This is a lot to take in. Okay. Small, mid-sized American city that used to be town of Fort Collins. Um, okay. A city based on urban architecture. Urban, let's see. I probably will want Napa Valley. You are not permitted. looks like in flows because that's probably what people are using. Dude, this server is huge. It's crazy. Oh, the custom trees are nice. Okay. Pretty cool. Oh, little trucks. Okay. I'm gonna get so distracted. working on stuff over here. Wonder how often people come on here. Or is like this one still a work in progress? sand trail here. It's very nice. Oh, that's nice. Like a Mediterranean kind of house. I'm just absorbing. Just absorbing everything. Some trees. I, man, I'm so lazy. I would never make a custom tree like that. Oh, here's a little excavator that we could build. Let's, uh, I have a Minecraft folder. It's F2 screenshot. F2. I have a little Minecraft folder of stuff, but we'll just screenshot some inspiration. Well, this is different. I bet that in Flows HD, this looks probably very interesting. 
Okay, none of these are what I want to be building. But it is very cool. I want something more rustic than this. Let's see if I can make my way back. Oh, this area is crazy. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see. We got a ton of options. Eight, 19th and 18th century homes. We'll try this one. Okay, let's see. San Francisco townhouses, small Victorian floors. Let's try that. Oh, this place is crazy, dude. People are crazy. seeing anything I want to build yet, but come on, let me out. Okay. Let me in. Ooh, okay, yeah, Victorian houses, I see. I see. I mean, that's just gorgeous. That's really cool. Oh, that's really cool, too. Oh, that's really cool, too. Oh, that's really cool, too. Uh, these are really cool, but none of these are what I want to... None of these are giving me the inspiration I need. Whoa. That's a palette. Um, oh, street signs are cool. call the building style that like my base is in hardcore is in. They did a lot of world edit to get that to work. here that are kind of different. Look at this. Oh, they're using some world edit shenanigans. I don't know if I want to go that ham on the custom trees. Look at all these trees. Look at the landscaping here. I mean, for crying out loud, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, a wraparound porch Victorian house. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a steamboat over here. Oh my gosh. It's a steamboat. The sun setting? No, it's just permanently that time. Okay. Look at this! Look at the little signs they're doing with levers. 
Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is so fascinating. Super cool. It's supposed to be railroads. Here's a little layout. Fascinating. Fascinating. Alright, well this isn't quite the inspiration I want though. But, insanely cool. I'm looking for something similar to the style of what I used to do. Golf course in Central Florida. Tropical coast. Coastal English town for English townhouses. American suburban. Super Weather Island. Modern home. A lot of modern homes. Okay. Mountain support for mid century and structural modern homes. Dark, sustainable, modern. Mountainous area of each inlays mountain spectacular. Desert warp with a large lake and unlike any other in the surf. Kinda interesting. Yeah, there's a ton of these, right? Water park. Server trees. Wait, are there more signs over here? Man, interesting. If I um, if I still play creative a lot, I would probably try to get on the server because they got a lot of cool stuff going on. For sure. I don't even know where to go. Um, okay, coastal England. We'll go coastal England. Take one then. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, I like the mix of pods a little here. That's just so cool. I mean, I think what really makes is the trees are so good. It's 
super large custom trees. Very cool. I don't know what's up with the floating islands. What are they doing for street signs? Okay, they're kind of... Okay, I see. Very cool. Uh, you can even, there's like birch trees, like actual birch trees and then actual like tall pines and stuff. Super fascinating. Water feature in the side of this mountain. I mean, come on. Very cool. Lots of places for people to build stuff over here. They must practice the builds up here and then copy paste them down. He's working on something interesting there. Fascinating. There's just no, um. I'm not finding the inspiration I was looking for on here, but there is some really cool stuff on here. The trees and stuff are definitely an inspiration point. And the little vehicles. People are good with those. canal that cuts through all of here too. The open air thing is very popular. I guess in like Mediterranean style homes they just do be leaving stuff like this. But it's crazy to think in the US that builds would be like that. But I guess there are houses like that. Scaffolding is like the window thing is really cool. for your server and giving me I definitely got some ideas I think that server they use flows HD or like a pack that works so much with what they're trying to build on there that like obviously I'm not working on that pack so I feel like a lot of stuff just doesn't work but I've played enough that I, I can see what they're Hardcore world that we started at the beginning of the year. Oh, hop back in it. I think we're doing stuff in survival. It's pretty incredible what I got going on here. And I didn't look up any guides for half this stuff. You know, I'm just like the only guide I followed so far is that little uh that little truck there. Did everything else kind of by hand. I think the trees could you know, be sprawled out a little bit more and stuff, but we're gonna leave it. Leave it be for now. Well, we're basically done with the slime chunk area over here. I could add a few more details, but I think we're gonna hit pause on that one. And we're gonna hop ship to another project. Before I do that, we're gonna clean up all of our items. So let's do a little bit of cleanup work for a little bit. Got 
mess of an inventory here. a bit before we start the next build. storage system. That would be nice, right? Hey there! Thanks for the follow. Thanks for either coming back or sticking around. We just were looking at some, um, some cool builds on the World of Corrales uh, server. And we've come back to the world here and we're gonna work on a project that I don't know what it's gonna be yet. I do need to raid an ocean monument at some point. Though... I don't know if I want to raid an ocean monument right now. <laughs> I think I'm kind of tired. <sighs> I'm kind of tired. I think I want to be more awake <laughs> when I raid an ocean monument. So maybe we'll do something different. Alright, let me put all these items away. So I'm going to do a little bit of... I hear you. I'm tired too. Well, thank you for following. I appreciate it. And I hope to hope you catch in another stream. I try to stream every day. I'll try not to stream so late next time, though. I know it's late for a lot of the U.S. peeps. back in here. Put our shoulder boxes back. That'll do, I guess. Get a few more shulker boxes to clean up. This area is mostly done. Clean this stuff up. I'm gonna leave this chest here actually. I don't like it there. Um, how about this stuff? Oh shoot, I got a ton of stuff in here. Uh can I stack any of this? Stack some of it. Is that it? Okay, we'll go sort that. If I don't, that stuff will just be there until the end of time, and I'll need it, and I won't know where it's at. So, better to go sort it now. The grass 
pass away. Once we get an iron farm, maybe we'll build the auto sorting system. Because I feel like I'm going to outgrow this eventually, but I didn't know how long we were going to survive on here, so I didn't want to go crazy build one right off the bat. Because it's like, you start building one and you die, and then it's like, oh, that was a pointless, you know, build. But we kind of actually survive it. And if I knew we was going to be surviving, then I would have just built one earlier. But Music. I love some Legend Arceus music. Definitely one of the better Pokemon games I've played in a while. This area looks so good. Chef's Kiss. Let's pick up the rest of the items here. This is probably not the most entertaining thing ever. Polished deep slate, but we're almost done. Blackstone, Blackstone. Alright. Okay. Crafting thing is full. Uh, I don't need these anymore. What else I'm not needing here? Boats. Don't need this many boats. How often do I use boats like that, right? Go pick up the last of our items, and we gotta reorganize our ender chest too because it's shot. And we'll sleep if the phantoms get us. That would suck. Okay. Okay, like we can put the rockets back away, we can put the gearbox, gearbox. Let's put this stuff in the gearbox. Goes back away. Backpack goes away. Path block. V2. Uh, oh, okay. This one needs to be emptied out. This is a path block box. 
blocks. And then the rest of these can also be emptied out. Or, you know what, for the time being, let's just dump them in here. And I'll just remember that those have building blocks in them. Last, last but not least, we grab that. And I think I have... Did I have another shulker box under here? Uh, nope, I cleaned it up. Excellent. Just looping back over. today. So probably not going to do that. Alright. Everything is where it should be. Excellent. Hey, thank you guys for tuning in. Shorter side of the stream. If you ever want to see how I built all the stuff that I've got here on the world, Remember that you can check out my YouTube and my TikTok account. And I will catch you guys in the next one here on twitch.tv slash jblader. Take care.